recorded in the Rugby Clubhouse at Johnny's Tavern in Lawrence, Kansas. This is the Jayhawk Rugby Rundown. Hello, and you're very welcome to another edition of the Jayhawk Rugby Rundown. Again, I've got two awesome guests with me, Mason Enos, Dylan Hoy. Guys, welcome to the podcast. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, great to be here. Absolutely. Glad you're doing it. So, first things first, we're going to do those warm-up questions to kind of loosen up and get into the flow of everything. So, um, real quick, easy, what's your favorite food? What's your favorite restaurant? Where do you like to go? What do you like to eat? Mm. That's a tough one. Restaurant's tough, but favorite food is burgers. Burgers? Burgers. Here's pretty good, I'll yeah. be honest. Uh, but I'm going to have to go with steak. It's just classic. I don't know. Steak, no, something like steak and potatoes. Just right. Restaurant, though, I don't know. There's probably like a few spots like back in Minnesota just like that I've been to. I can't really. Actually, it's called Cove. There's one on Lake Minnetonka, but there's also one in Edina, where I'm from. It's a pretty good spot. Right on. Yeah. How do you like them cooked? Medium, medium. rare. Medium. medium and medium rare? Yeah. Pretty traditional. There. Yeah. No, no well done stuff. No. <laughs> Nothing Don't like that. that. What's your favorite color? Red. Red? I was actually thinking about this earlier because I was watching the pod- last podcast. Uh-huh. And I was like, all right. I need to have my favorite color and my right. favorite movie down, so I'm going to go red, but I also really like turquoise, so I'm going to oh, really? do a little bit of both. Very cool. Very cool. Favorite movie? See, I was thinking about this all day, and I still don't have an answer for that. You got a top five, or ones that would fit in your top five? I, I, the one that always comes to mind for me is Inception, just okay. because like the first time I watched it, I was like, wow, but I really like Marvel movies. Um... I mean, I just watched. I'm more of a like, like little like limited series. That's okay. what I've been on. Like a big Peaky Blinders guy. Oh, yeah. uh, I just watched Obi Wan. Right but, on. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So that's kind of diverse. There. Yeah, Peaky I'm Blinders pretty, to Avengers. Yeah, to... a lot of different things. Very cool. I'm gonna go with the other guys for not for me. The other guys. That movie just cracks me up. I, but not. I don't laugh out loud a lot. Right. But when I watch when I watch that when I watch that other guys I. <laughs> laugh out loud so many times that movie. How so. many times have you seen it now? Just the once, or you I watch three it or four? Over? Yeah, it's a pretty good. We got a shout out Surf Sub. Shout, shout out, out Surf Sub. Surf one. Sub is a classic. If you could go anywhere to travel or visit, where would you go? You can start. Uh, I go to Hawaii. 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 Just I don't know. You just when you're there, you're it's good relaxing vibe. Right. And drinks taste good. Yeah. You've been there? No, I haven't. Oh. Yeah, I'm, that's definitely up there. That or Thailand. Cool. Just because, I don't know. I want to, like, live one of those places when I'm older. But right. i got to go there first, so. Try something totally different. Yeah, right? something like that. So you're from Minnesota originally, right? Mm-hmm. Just outside Minneapolis, yeah. Edina? Yeah, it's like uh, 15 minutes away, probably. Not too far. Uh, so how'd yeah. you end up at KU? Um, well, Jack Deans. Uh, you know, probably know. He was. Uh, he went to my high school. Okay. But he was a senior when I was a freshman. So I played football with him, but I didn't like. I wasn't really like super close with him. Mm-hmm. And he came to KU, but I didn't start playing rugby until my sophomore year of high school. Okay. So I used to like my freshman year. I played ultimate frisbee. Just like I don't know. I thought it was fun. Right. But I, I like. I couldn't get any rides, practices, or anything. So I just like never went. And then sophomore year. My friend, a couple of my buddies, played freshman year. My friend who actually plays rugby at Cal right now, well, he just graduated, Nick Bloom, he's a winger there, but he got me to come out sophomore year, and then I just came. The rest is history, but I, I toured KU because I wanted to get out of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Didn't really want to play football. I could have played like D3 in Minnesota. Didn't really want to do that. I was like, I didn't want to do that. I still really liked rugby, and Jack Dean's like, had come on out and I was like going to KU and very I had cool. like four of my friends from high school come here and yeah very cool I'm here now been here 
Where are you from, Mason? I'm from Oasis, Kansas, like 45 minutes down the road. Right on. Which school did you go to there? I went to St. James. Okay. So, like, where, like, Wyatt, Kale, Josh, and where um, Rob coached, like, Hooligan. So, right. he served some of our games. And then you played there, too? I played, I started my junior year because I ran track. We had it for football, we had to play a spring sport. Uh huh. And I ran track for two years and I absolutely hated it. Right. And then my friend Max, who's playing football at Stanford right now, convinced a bunch of us to just to play rugby, just go to a practice. Went to a practice, then I had a lot of fun. Then I have not looked back since. That's awesome. And you're playing wing mostly? Played, right yeah, now? I'm playing wing mostly. Is Your that school what you actually required you to play? We had a for, sport. When we played football, we had to play a spring sport. So like if you if you didn't play like one of the spring main sports you had to run track, uh-huh. so like so our our track program was basically cross country people and all the football players that are kind of just forced to be there. Yeah. So you played with the school team in high school. I played yeah I played at St James. Was it a school team or a community? No, it was team? a club. Like, Mine was a club. You both were more clubs club. then. Yeah. Okay. So you did have some experience coming in. It wasn't just like hitting no. the ground. No. No. It from, was. Yeah. Nothing coming into KU. Yeah. So what have you found that's different about playing at KU versus high school? Um, is it just the same as everything's different in college than it is in high school? Or I mean, high school, um, I just feel like, I mean, in my high school experience, it was big, but, like, not as big as, like, football. Right. Like, a lot of kids, like, my program coming into it, I, like, my team had won like four straight state championships and I was like oh cool like and then my sophomore and junior year we won state and then my senior year it was just kind of we lost to this one Minnetonka don't really want to talk about it but (laughs) um yeah I don't know it was just the biggest difference is just like kind of like the like we don't have this what we're sitting in like we would maybe it's just because we're older but I mean I don't know just like more of a like community mm-hmm. in college because especially like you live with the people right see them like every day so yeah right very cool so both of you have nicknames yeah that people call you <laughs> d hoy yeah is that the only nickname you have I mean, really? it's just d yeah but... so that's pretty obvious where yeah. that comes from don hoy now you have a few different yes. ones that annie calls you i got that's noob nos uh-huh nasi uh-huh and then I've got Eno. Uh huh. I got Pterodactyl. Okay. Just a piece silent. And then, <laughs> um, I, I, Nos. Right. So, like, so Nos, Nasi, Eno, those are all I, from your name. So, that's kind a of, lot obvious, of like, like, those three are the main ones. Uh-huh. And they're all from my name. Right. So, like, where did Snoop Nos come from then? Okay. We were before the National Qualifier Tournament. This was like that was like the first practice all year we had music. Right. We all got to choose our songs, put them on there. Q made a playlist. Q was a great DJ. Shout out to Q. Then it's quite we, pithy. Yes. Yeah. Then we shout. Then we broke down after we talked about our songs, and then his first song was "Drop Like the Top" by Snoop Dogg. And then I, I don't know what it was. I just felt something in me. I just started dancing to it, and then and the worm. And then and then Tom Richards, he's like. Do the worm. I'm like, okay. And then, I did the, <laughs> then I did the worm, and then, and then that turned into, that turned into a life of its own after that. And then Andy was like on the group chat. Uh, what was that song you were dancing to earlier? I'm like, Drop Light is Hot by Snoop Dogg. And then Andy was like, Snoop Dogg. And I'm like, <laughs> that just sort of just hit. And then there, there was another meme that someone made. It was just it was like me and the shades and the chain. It was one right. of the like, pictures we took over here. And then the, no, that sort of just took in the life of its own. <laughs> so Snoop Dogg it is. Yeah. Which one do you prefer? I kind of like Steven Doss. You don't like it? I don't know. I say I do like it. Oh, you do? I kind of like, like that okay. one the best. Like, I don't know. I like, I like them all. I like nicknames. Right. I, I'm not used to being called Mason anymore, and I fully accepted that. <laughs> do you consider yourself a club kid, like going out to dance clubs and dancing and all that, or is that just a... Certified club kid, right? right. I, 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 I dance. I, I, I would probably be one of the best dancers on this team. Right. But hot take, hot take. <laughs> but I maybe not club guy, but like whenever there's dan- we are, we're on we're in, in here or in the uh, up and under, and I hear something I like, I'm not gonna just not dance to it. So, what's your favorite music? Rap, rap, yeah, same, same, 
Pretty I'm pretty, I can, I, mean, I like a lot of things, but that's mainly what I listen to. Very cool. So you guys are pretty diverse all over the place because we mm. had country, we had hard rock, we had two raps now. Yeah, I have a bone to pick with Trevor Lister. Yeah, that's He oh, said yeah. he listens to rock all the time, and that is a blatant lie. Okay. <laughs> his his, fa- his favorite Poo artist Shiesty. is, yeah, this is Pooh Shiesty. That's when I heard that. I was like, he didn't mention the artist he's known for. <laughs> right. His nickname's literally T Shiesty. Um, yeah. He said it best. We're gonna have to ask him about that. Yeah, we gotta here. come. We gotta get him back on the pod. Yes. <laughs> so dogs or cats? Dogs. Uh, I'm in a bit, of, little bit of in the middle because I have a cat here. Shout uh-huh. out Goob. You all, everyone knows him. Yes. But I have two dogs at home, and I've had dogs my whole life. So. Right. On. If I had to choose, probably dogs. But I don't know. I'm in the middle. You got some love for cats. Yeah, I got love for shout, cats. No, nice. shout out to Goob. I'm not a big cat guy, but I love Goob. Right. Do you guys live together? No. No, no but you like, hang out. We hang out. Mm-hmm. Sure. Like, right on. Do you guys live with any of the other uh, guys on the club or yeah, anything? Yeah. Um, I live on 14th Street. I think you came to my house one time uh-huh. uh, with Mason Fowler, Q, Reed, Parsons, and Merrick. Uh, Mason's moving downstairs because we have three, three units in our house, and Trevor's moving in in the fall. So that'll be fun. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, Do a party house again, yeah. right? Probably. <laughs> yeah. um, I live with Josh Carlson and Jackson Schimmel this past year. I'm trying to be on. I try to be on my own for at least first semester. Then I have a plan. Does Trevor talk to me about replacing marriage? Yeah. For you guys. Yeah, because he doesn't know what he's doing. So because him and Reed both graduate in the fall. Right. Yeah. But very cool. I that, right right now I'm just living on. I'll be living on 12th in Ohio and like okay. a little complex type thing right on so you guys are right around the corner from yeah. each other basically mm-hmm. i think a lot of the guys live over there like, so we're all pretty close it's yeah. like 12th 13th 14th they're all mm-hmm. right. really close very cool what's your favorite curse word probably fuck yeah i mean it's uh, simple right. pretty versatile <laughs> use it all over the place <laughs> i, I kind of like motherfucker do you i don't know it just adds emphasis right like, it's the full it's the mother. Fucker. Right. It just adds some emphasis <laughs> to like what you're trying to do. So one of the big kind of I guess stories that came out this week, and um, there are some things up there, but we do have a fall schedule. It's pretty much in place at this point. Uh, if you're watching this on the video, I'm going to put a little uh, video uh, picture of the thing on the screen mm-hmm. so everybody can see what it is. Um, or, of course, our social media is Griff's going to be posting them out yeah. and everything like that pretty soon here. But uh, we are starting on August 27th with a road trip away at Colorado in Boulder. And then uh, the next weekend, September 3rd, we'll be hosting Indiana at home. So those first two matches are really quick because we start practice on the 15th. Classes start the 22nd, so the end of that first week, we're already on a road trip. Mm-hmm. And we're playing teams that are division in front of us. So you mentioned Reed earlier. You know, we don't have Chandler, Reed, Tom Richards, you mentioned earlier, Spencer, all those kinds of guys. We're going to have to figure out really quick who we are. Yeah. What kind of team we're going to be. How do you feel about that? Getting kind of thrown into the deep end with a schedule I mean, like I that. guess I'll kind of start things off. This may be kind of like a breaking news things, but I don't think I'm going to be playing in the fall. Oh, just really? because I'll be a fifth year. And I know a bunch of people, guys, been like, oh, come on out. I don't know. I just, I, if you guys don't know, I'd pursue powerlifting too. And, like, I've put in my four years here. But I'll say one thing. Mm-hmm. The spring is not off the table. Right. Because I am I just got a new coach for powerlifting. Okay. And uh, I'm competing on October 16th. So that's my priority right now. I'll still be around the club. Right. I'll still be traveling to Boulder. Right. Still be at the games with the boys. But as of right now, I'm not going to be playing in the fall. We'll see what happens after my meet. But I just, I've had a lot of concussions in my life. Mm -hmm. Last year, I got really injured towards the end of the fall season. Right. So... That's just where I'm at right now, but I do think the boys are going to have to rely on a lot of the people who played last year because mm-hmm. we were really sophomore heavy, and going into junior year, like that's the biggest transition. And mm-hmm. I kind of got robbed of that because my sophomore year, that spring, we played Nebraska, and then like 
season's over. Right. And we had maybe the best team we ever had Because of COVID. Because yeah. of COVID. And yeah. then last year, we just practiced every week, and we were using, like, foam sticks and stuff to play touch. Right. And so, yeah. Mm-hmm. That is breaking news. Did yeah. you know about that? Had no I idea. had a feeling, but I also, I also heard, felt like he might... But yeah, we there's gonna be some arm twists. Yeah, and I'm, <laughs> you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a lot. I'm of gonna flat. hear it from Trevor most of the year. Like I, I don't know. It's just like a, I, I took a while like after the season to like think about it. Right. And like yes, I love the boys and I love the team and mm-hmm. I, like this last year is the best year I've ever had playing rugby. But right now for like what I want to pursue in my life, it's just like I know I'm not going pro. Mm-hmm. I'd like that dream is like out the wind i never really like i love rugby but like in my stature if i want to play forward in the right. next level and i don't have i don't run a 4-4 or 40 right so i can't just go out to play wing and stuff and like i don't know it's just the best thing for me right now and once again the spring it's not off the table right. so keep the ch- keep the book open for now yeah fair enough you ready to play flanker then <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The pack, yeah. Join the from, forwards. Yeah, throw from wing to flanker. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Not so much. Nah. Well, we got lots of people to replace. We got a lot of talent yeah. coming back, and we yeah. had some talent coming in. True. So, like, I, yes, we, we lost a lot of important pieces, but, like, we also maintained a lot of important pieces. We have pieces that, like, like Matt Barr was hurt all for mm-hmm. all of second semester. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he's definitely chomping at the bit to come back. We have a lot of guys that. If Caleb Little. Caleb Little. He did, did it. He, Nick Hafford's probably going to take his game to another level. Yeah, we got. We Khalil. Just have, like, Kale. Kale's, yeah. just, Kale's did a step up big time this year. Right. We used to have a lot of guys and a lot of talent. So, like, yes. Q got hurt, too. Q, mm-hmm. Q, Q's, Q's an absolute stud. Right. I, we got. We, so, I'm, I'm confident that we will find our footing. Yeah. And then and, you guys. Yeah, right. recruited that, really heavy last year. Yeah. I don't know why we went this year. So. Yeah, yeah, night should be interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's gonna be good competition yeah. Yeah. too. Man. You're missing out, Boulder. It's gonna be well, awesome. I'll be there, Boulder's but I'm not gonna. I'll, I'm not gonna be playing. Right. On. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Boulder's gonna yeah. be fun, but yeah. I'm more. I'm really excited about Indiana because we had it. We were going to play them last year. Mm-hmm. We were set to make that trip, and then mm-hmm. like last minute they canceled on us. Yeah. And there were a lot of pissed off guys, sure. including myself. I don't know. I don't speak. Yeah, I was definitely ready to. Be they claimed COVID there. for that too, right? No, they didn't claim COVID. They oh, claimed they just... like stuff with their program. It or wasn't something. like they didn't have like the fields or something. something. Like, it was you knew about this game for this long, and you can't just. Like, right. It wasn't. Field. It was a weird situation. So that's sort of how. Then we went off and kicked the Blues' ass, and that's mm-hmm. sort of. And that's, we just took all, all of our anger out on them. Right. So that, I'm, I'm excited for that. 27 game. nothing or something. Yeah. That something wasn't, yeah. Like that. So after uh, Colorado, Indiana, I'm trying to remember, do we play a club side yeah, after that? K-State. It's right into the conference then. Yeah. So this year, we were just chatting about it earlier. Our conference looks different. Uh, we did have a 10-team conference here in the heart of America um, divided into North and South divisions. Truman State out of the North and Oklahoma State out of the South have decided to step down to a lower division, leaving us with just eight teams. We're still going to be divided North and South, but um, each division is going to play home and home, meaning we're going to play K-State twice, once here and once there, Mizzou twice, once here and once there, and Arkansas twice, once here and once there. You like that system better, or do you like playing like the Iowa, Iowa State, Nebraska, Minnesota road trips? I, I don't mind it. Yeah. Because like you play a team twice, you know their strengths mm-hmm. and weaknesses, but I feel like playing it, I don't know. It's just, it's just different. Right. Because like I feel like on the schedule, when you see all those teams, like, and you're like, oh, I have to play K-State twice. I got to play Arkansas twice. Like, mm-hmm. It's just like the thought of like you have to travel there again. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. I feel like it'll be good though. Because, right. I mean, it, it, there's a benefit from playing the South teams too. Yeah. Because like you get an experience for all the competition, especially leading into the like, like Hard America yeah. tournament. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I, I feel like, again, 
those first D D one A matchups just gotta set us up well. I uh, then we have some tough competition, but I'm okay with that. I would have liked to play Iowa State again as that's mm-hmm. a really good team. And I would have liked to maybe play a few more D one A teams. Mm-hmm. But also like kind of maybe feel some rivalry a little bit in yeah. our and then our divisions is we only saw each other once and then never saw each other for another year for like another year. Right. And then now we might have a little bit more of a rivalry in some of these schools. It feels more like a basketball schedule than a football yeah. schedule. Yeah, it's, it's you a know. more of a yeah. You see, it's, it's like a like professional like International rugby. Right. Yeah. They have, like, like, they have, home, they have and home and homes. Yeah. And different kinds of tests. So we're doing those. We're also playing a couple of men's sides, like the Wichita mm. teams coming up and um, the Kansas City team. I think, I don't remember if we're here or there. I don't even know if that's been decided it yet. Really honestly. Matter. Yeah, but yeah. those are fun ones mixed yeah. in there too. Uh, and then uh, I think it's November 12th. Uh, we're scheduled for the conference tournament again, which we're obviously expecting or at least hoping to qualify for. Same kind of question there. We play Saturday, Sunday, back-to-back. Number one from the north plays number two from the south. Number one from the south plays number two from the north. Do you think that's a good way of doing it, or should it just be the two number ones, especially at this point, because everybody's played each other twice. You should know who's right. best. Or do you just like playing as much rugby right. as you can? I like playing a lot of rugby, but I feel like the better system, in my opinion, would be the number one team from each conference playing each other. Yeah. Because like it takes a toll on your body. I didn't. I didn't play in those games, but I did mm-hmm. speed for. But did speed for it. It yeah. takes a toll. Fight right. back to back games, eighty pl- eighty minutes. And um, but I also kind of like the idea of, especially if we're hosting again, mm-hmm. instead of bringing a lot of money to the club, then uh, I kind of like the i Maybe I like the idea of my maybe seeing a third shot of one of these other teams if mm-hmm. that to be possible, but. I'm okay with either way. It's rugby. Right. I uh, I liked it last year because I thought it was really cool how, like, Minnesota, like, not many people, like, thought they really had business, like, being in this tournament, kind of. Like, there, mm. no shot on Minnesota there. I'm from there, but, like, I don't really support them. I know a couple, sure. I knew a couple guys on their team, but, like, everyone mm. wanted to see us and Iowa State in the final. Like, we, everyone knows that. I like that, but I wish the system was more, like, like, I love the North and South thing, but I wish it was more like the top two teams. Like, those teams are on the opposite side of the bracket. Mm-hmm. Like, like we should yeah. have played Minnesota or, what was it, Arkansas? Yeah. And then Iowa State should have played the other one and then meet in the finals. Mm. Right. But. Yeah. Just give them the rugby. We, are, we beat Iowa State, right. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. So what was your favorite memory from last year then? We shared a couple stories already, but. Right. Obviously, like, Dallas was pretty cool like we lost we lost but like uh, this is like the like i've never been on like a national stage and like even though we lost like i was i was roommates with trevor there and Mm -hmm. we like got back and like normally when i am on a team with a lot of younger players like a lot of them can get really emotional Mm -hmm. like after like a big loss i've never really like been that way it's just like at the end of the day it's just a game Mm -hmm. and we got to move on but me and trevor were talking we were like look like we did everything we could, and, like, that was a great game. Like, we lost, but, like, that was still a great experience, and now we can just continue to enjoy our trip here. Right. Like, Dallas was a lot of fun. Like, the Texas Life place, that was yeah. Oh, yeah. that was fun. Um, and I think my favorite memory from last year was making it the national qualifier. Okay. Because that, cause it was, that's a whole, that whole week was, like, First team was a national championship in basketball. Yeah. Right. And then we have a, that week of practice in general was just so much fun. We, it was more lively and just most energy. And mm. after since right. that point, we had a lot of energy at practice. And then those games and then just celebrating on the field, like doing doing what we do and having fun. And then that, that night, like when we all went to Johnny's and celebrated, we were all dancing over the rope. Right. Oh, the, yeah. Andy doing like kung fu over the rope or whatever he was doing <laughs> in that video. And then like, oh uh, no, that was we just we just it was when we all just kind of just came together. We talked, said how like, how conversations I had, saying, "Oh, I love you, man," or you all oh, saying someone saying that to me. It just brought, and it just culminated what we've done yeah. all together. And it was just it's been no, I've had we've had this is the most fun year I've had in my life. Right. All the I, it, it's hard. I really arranged one. Yeah, pretty much every like post game like. 
I wouldn't say like party, but like function type thing. Like it's just cool to see how like best player on the college side to the worst player on club side, like it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like mm-hmm. we're all a team and you can see how like there's no bad blood between anyone. Like right. everyone is friends with everyone, everyone mingles with everyone. And it's just great to see that. And that was just kind of that was kind of my overall highlight of this year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The social side. Huh? Yeah. The social side. Is that the best part of rugby period here or anywhere? It's up there. It's, it's up, up there. For sure. Yeah. I yeah. I love we all, we all, I love playing rugby, but like having something. But we are also such a tight group that like socials mm. are just a lot of fun. Like we just like all oh, like just being in here just gives me like goosebumps. Especially because like it was a lot of the first time that any of us had ever really met each other Mm -hmm. and like to like be able to like grow that relationship like tyler johnson for example like he came i had no like obviously he's a freshman from california i had no idea who was because like i've been in this program for four years and i've seen people show up for practice Mm -hmm. and you don't know if they're coming back right and like him george Barron, just people that came like start of the season and you just don't really know if they're coming back and then next thing you know they're like one of your really good friends right it's just cool right. to see. very cool mm-hmm. so what are you doing over the summer i'm guess i'm asking mason more because <laughs> over the summer to get ready for this fall to wow. prepare for the schedule so, that we now know or just to try and get uh, back to dallas or wherever yeah. the national championship that, is i think i'm i'm confident we can make we can go back yeah I'm I'm trying to get myself involved and I gain a little bit more time. I've been lifting. I mean, I, I go to Genesis over in where I live in Olathe and lifting, mm-hmm. and I'm starting to run a little more too. Right. Then I running. I, I there's like a hill on California Trail in the middle school over there, so I run hills over there. And whenever Trevor talks about playing touch or anything involved, like maybe gain some runs in, I go to it. So just like it gets me a run in, it gets me more. Mm-hmm. Passing, more used passing and running. Then I getting used to playing rugby instead of just taking some time off. Right. I'm kind of been watching a lot. I've been watching like international rugby too, because like that's the, those are the best guys to do it. And so I just trying to implement what the wings over in like all these countries do, and try to implement what sure. I can do in my game. So you've been watching a lot of that summer series, New Zealand, Ireland. Yeah, and... I watched. I got. I, I went through the first week of the summer series yesterday. Okay. So I very cool. And I'm assuming you're just lifting. I mean, I'm still focus. doing like I've been, uh, like I've been playing a lot of basketball because mm-hmm. like I can't just lift. Like right, you need that. Aerobic. I need. I mean, yeah. I've I've been so me and Reed just this summer been working at Summit over on New Hampshire. Cool. It's a gym that we both work out at, and so it's really nice. We can just like kind of work out like during our shift so I can just Mm -hmm. work out during my shift and I also just like they have a bunch of boxing bags and stuff so I've been doing that a lot this summer and playing a lot of basketball just I've been just trying to do everything like trying to play some tennis just everything getting paid to lift that's That's, a dream that is a dream that's 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 pretty yeah are you working a job this summer yeah I got an internship at uh Shamrock Trade Corp that's a trucking company doing their accounting there very cool it's it's a good opportunity, but getting paid to list pretty cool. Because you're uh, majoring in. I'm majoring in accounting. Right. For now, like again, I'm still. I got a lot of interest outside of it, so I'm just sort of th- thinking that through. Right. Mm-hmm. And what are you graduating with this fall? Uh, well, I graduate in the spring. Oh, next spring. So that's I'm why sorry. I was I'm... thinking like okay. come back in the spring. Uh, commu- right. Communications. Gotcha. Yeah. Very cool. What mm-hmm. you gonna do with that? I'm trying to run social medias for companies. Oh, yeah? Uh, I'm applying, actually, for a social media internship and a content internship with the UFC. So, oh, I don't... I mean, I, I'm basically just doing it to get my name in the door, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, I'm trying to run the social media for a company. That'd be my ideal awesome. job. Awesome. Yeah. So, aside from school work, work work, rugby work, what else do you guys do? Do you have any hobbies, any other interests, things that you... Uh, well, this summer, shout out Steve Lang. He gave us a Wii, and nice. me, Merrick, and my whole house have been playing a lot of Wii. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than sitting and playing Xbox. But I've been right. doing that. Um, just got back from Minnesota for the fourth. Nice. I went to Indiana 
Pretty saw a cool. Billy Joel concert. Oh, nice. Pretty insane with my girlfriend. It's pretty, yeah, just, I don't know, just lifting. That's a pretty full, doing, busy life. You got yeah, a lot I'm, going on. I'm busy. Yeah. Um, I've been, I have a big family at home, and I've been, and so I've been hanging out with them. I have a little brother who doesn't, who doesn't really know why I'm gone I, for a lot of the year. So I spend as much time with him as I can is good. Very cool. Um, catching up with some friends back home that maybe I, I haven't really seen. And then, but a lot of it's just working, getting ready for the season, and then just hanging out with my family. Right. But you're also doing some uh, executive committee work. Yes. This year, too. You got elected to be, what's the got, official title? Business got, secretary? Business man, secretary. I got reelected because that that's what I was last right. year. And then... Uh, and then we at the AGM it was basically like, I they, there was like no I got no competition and then like so like and everybody just did not obviously just put me back mm-hmm. on and I and so I'm just run going taking that and running with it. Is that because nobody else wanted it or because you're it so was, awesome at it? It was sort of planned. Like we you know, Zach meeting before this uh-huh. it was sort of like planned that like me Luke and Seth. I he, Doug said like we want time want these guys to save their same spots right. and so that, and so that was sort of like the plan. Right on. You happy with the changes that have been made with the executive committee and the format? I feel like to get more guys involved. Yeah. Because I and it also that kind of looks good on a resume. That Dean, like, even if you're not like all on the board, but being on like, a subcommittee on the on that board, you still put that on your resume. So I feel like that looked good for all the guys that are trying to get internships over the summer when it, this is, that's big, this is a big internship upcoming year for me. Right. And then, um, I just feel like it would get more guys input and there's some positions that are like, that are like, there's a lot and you're not, you're not only one person to do it at once and then maybe it would just help organize. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it will work out well. Right on. It would take some like training, training steps, but like, sure overall because yeah, people like you know graduate they move on whatever it is yeah. you lose that institutional knowledge yeah. if yeah. you're not building up people did you ever serve on the exact committee in no i never never did it i was gonna talk to andy about it just because i'm not playing in the fall i was thinking maybe i could take like a strength coach role type mm-hmm. thing just because like i know everyone like works out during the season and stuff but i'd love to like be involved with that just mm-hmm. so i can like keep the boys accountable for like lifting and stuff right. but if that's something that the coaches would be interested in i'd for right. sure be open to that maybe work with uh josh yeah Arnis, the trainer i'm doing stuff like that yeah, too exactly. that'd be pretty cool to have mm-hmm. you around doing that for sure um there are lots of opportunities to kind of take ownership in the club finding yourself a role not just you know be a player on the practice squad yeah. or on the team or something else but some way to kind of take control yeah. But I think that's a big part of what we need to keep going too. Yeah, you know? for sure. You get invested and you feel yeah. ownership. You know, this is my club. It's not just somebody I'm playing for or something I do on the yeah. side or something else. What's the biggest recruiting tool? Is it that? Is it the social side? Is it the sport itself? Is it the amenities? All the stuff being built out at Westwick now. I, I feel like the I, having all this is a, is like a really good recruiting tool, but like. Word of mouth, I feel like, is everyone who's talked, everyone I've known who's been a part of this program has like nothing but good things to say about it. Right. Then social side, to bring, bring like recruits out to the social, see what that's all about. Then just meeting the people, because like, we're all, there's all, all of us are good people. And then like, yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of way recruiting tools. It's just spraying awareness. No doubt. I think Griff's like really taken Griff. our club Griff's, to like another level yeah, just yeah. because like when I was like sophomore and freshman like that wasn't I wasn't a thing like we didn't have a social media especially because you and Griff putting out like a, like you on YouTube like mm. I like that's insane like the little scoreboard and stuff right. and like just everything that you guys have done has like taken it to a whole nother level and then I would just say the Westwick like having our own field not just one field but two fields yeah and we can go there whenever we want and like my biggest thing when i was like tell people to come out i'm like look like it doesn't matter if you've never played you're still gonna have a great time all the guys are awesome and like it's not a sport where you got you will never see the field right like you're gonna see the field no matter if it's in club side for 30 minutes like you'll see it and coaches don't neglect you in practice Mm -hmm. like some other sports would Mm mm-hmm 
So yeah, I'd probably say those two are probably the biggest things. Cool. All right. What should we talk about that I missed? What else do you want to go through or say? Or I had a question. You emailed me. Yeah. Marcus Williams, Williamson, yes. PhD. What yeah. is your PhD in? Political science. Okay. It's actually my day job. I'm a professor. Okay. Oh, so where at? So I do Missouri Western and Johnson County Community College right now. That's where I'm teaching classes. Okay. And then a couple days a week, especially here in the summer, my uh, wife and her, my wife's family owns 23rd Street Brewery. Okay. So I help oh, out down there, sweet. help out with some of the beer brewing and things like First that. Versatile. So, uh, at least yeah. I, I have their, I their chicken, buffalo chicken mac nice. over there. Yeah. So but, whenever I would, my dad would visit, we just go over there as he's been to a few of our games because he's all the way from Olathe, so I'd yeah. go over there. That place is pretty good. Good. Awesome. Yeah. That's it. Who knew I was educated? <laughs> hey, I knew it. Once I saw the YouTube stuff, I was like, okay, I Marcus knew, got something. Got, I knew you knew what you were doing. I didn't know what you did. As a, I didn't know what yeah. you did besides this. I actually had never made a video before this year for the rugby club. How did you so, learn to like get the scoreboard on there? Just a bunch of research and stuff? YouTube, yeah. Looked up That's stuff insane. online, learned it, saw what was out there, different tools, and started putting it together. So That's sweet. Yeah. That's that's what it was. But yeah. No, I teach uh, political science. That's my full-time okay. day job. So you do online classes too or just... I person? do a couple online, especially Missouri Western's up in St. Joseph. So oh, okay. in the past, I've had a commute. I actually lived in St. Joseph okay. for a year and all that. Yeah. Uh, but right now, they're all online there. And then I teach in Overland Park. Fall, Sweet. spring now. Sweet. So yeah. That's the story. Chandler. In the yeah. Little yeah. Game. That. Absolutely. So that is one big thing. That's going on over the summer is, of course, Chandler's out there trying to make the MLR, mm. chasing his dreams. He's uh, was part of the College Shield game a couple weekends yeah. ago. Yeah. I know he's doing the combine up in Wisconsin that's coming up in yeah. August. Or is it the end of this month? It's yeah. in uh, it July. I remember seeing those things. I sent it to Trevor. I was like, you should do this. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, I know he's a sophomore, but, uh -huh. hey, like, that's only going to make you better. Yeah, like, doesn't matter no, if you, like, get, like, like you're, he's not gonna get drafted. He's but not did you, eligible. Did you look at? But like, coaches see you there. Yeah. Right. Like, wow, what is this junior doing here? Like, why is he here? Right. But yeah, I hope Chandler kills it. And um, at the Shield game, it's funny because on the other team, it felt like Chandler's team was like all American dudes, mm -hmm. and then the other team there was like Samoan dudes, right? International and, and players. And like yeah. one of their wings, Enrique Carmona, played with me in high school. Oh, is that right? And he's on the. Mexican National Sevens team. No kidding. And he played, he like, really funny. One of my friends, it's his cousin. Okay. He's from Mexico City, came to my high school, soccer player. And there's a transfer rule where if you need to have a year in high school before you can play varsity. Okay. So he played JV, and he's a senior, he can't play varsity. So right. he just came out for rugby, never played it before. Played fullback. <laughs> and then is amazing and goes to Davenport in Michigan. Uh -huh. And then like, from there. That's a top insane. D1 school. Yeah. Davenport for rugby. And, yeah. And killing it now. That's so it's crazy awesome. to see that. And like he's playing against Chandler. Like I remember I was at some bar in Minnesota watching the game and like clicked it on. Chandler gets that. It was right after his like soup 50 to 22 that, or whatever. That right? was that And shit. he kicked it and my teammate, my former teammate caught it and I was like, what, what, <laughs> what am I seeing right now? This is insane. In Twilight Zone. Yeah. No. That's 50, 20, at 80 plus meter 50, 22 yeah. kick. That was, that was sick. That was, sweet. That was insane. I, I watched it here. We, when we, had a, we had a little watch party here for the game. That, that was like the game just started. We're getting time to settle, and we just see Chandler just boot the living hell out of him. Like, right. I've seen this before. Yeah. No, I feel like he, he played really well in that game. I think so. I, yeah, one of the things I really liked about it, you know, there are always the big highlight things like kicks like that or you know, breaking tackles, yeah. making moves. But even just the way he kind of controlled the game, taking the ball, figuring out who to pass to, and kind of running their offense like yeah. that. Yeah, it's not he wasn't flashy, super but super aggressive like you would see like in our games where yeah. he'd be like dummying and housing it for a try. He did a lot of like discipline passing and just like, real decisions. strategic. Yeah. I was impressed with how wow. he did that too. As so he, as he set up one of the other tries. Yeah, as he was, he was taking all that set up, and then he saw he just went weak side and set up that one. Then that penalty. He did a tap and go he had. If he had mm -hmm. some support with him, that probably should have done it been a try, too, because yeah. he had no support in that play. I think that's easy to say. That's one of Chandler's strengths is his 
awareness of the situation of the game and being able to yeah, yeah exactly. he knows the game yeah he's really, really well. cool i know that uh andy has talked about trying to develop some relationships with different mlr teams as well yeah uh that would help with all kinds of aspects whether it be uh, players trying to get into the MLR, get drafted, um, doing some sort of exchange program so mm. that our guys can get better, we can go visit and do things with them. Have any thoughts on that? I know that's that'd be kind pretty, of that'd be you know, sweet. That'd be way down cool. the road, but I think he's got some response. I feel here. like if like KC got a team, it'd yeah. be pretty I easy think. to do that, but I don't really know. They're pro- I, I don't really think they have the expansion, yeah. stuff I, like that. But. I think they, I, Dan, I'm not, Dan, I, this is what, I was told by George. He said George told me that St. Louis got a team. Oh. I don't I mean, it's a really new league. It's so. a new league. It's like a five-year-ish. So it's, yeah, it was like five-year, mm-hmm. something like that. I don't really, I'm not really sure about it's that. It's expanding, but, but yeah. no, I know he's, we're working it. No, it'd, be, it'd, be pretty, pretty, it'd be pretty, it'd be pretty cool. Obviously nobody too local, but there's some yeah. folks that are interested. Like, I feel like the KC Blues and like, mm-hmm. I'm not saying KC Blues should be in the MLR, but like, cause we, college team beat them. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, I feel like, like KC Blues, KCRFC, like, mm-hmm. I feel like there's enough dudes where like, they could just like, sure. make a team, like there's facilities like yeah um, I, they have i don't know i feel like they could do it like if major league lacrosse is blowing up i just kind of yeah. see like the mlr is kind of like how the mls started yeah like absolutely. mls uh, started wasn't that big nothing compared to european soccer right same thing mlr but like give it like five more years mm-hmm. and it could be just as big absolutely i, I feel like because we got the world cup coming up in like the in like Nine years, twenty thirty one. Yeah, so like men's and women's. Men's and yeah, men's and men's and men's in twenty thirty one. Right. Women's in thirty three. Yeah, but I feel like this is sports growing, and I I've never understood why it hasn't been this big of a deal in the first place. It's like mm-hmm. we love football over here, mm-hmm. and it's there's a lot of hits in football. There's a lot of hits here, and this is kind of a safer form. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would think that I would so it's kind of it's not always had a shock me. There's never not as big of a deal here. But I feel like it's done. It's to keep growing rapidly. I think so. A lot of smaller private high schools are picking it up too because yeah. it's pretty yeah. inexpensive, especially compared to football. That's a no big pads, thing helmets. that is different from when I came to school here. Mm-hmm. Hearing like St. James, all these private schools, like St. Thomas Aquinas. Like when I went to that high school national championship, I was like. You guys have your own, like, hot dog cart? Like, right. what is this? Like, right. we don't have, like, none of our rugby teams in Minnesota were supported by the high school. Mm. Like, like our private schools didn't even have teams. It was all club. And then I'm like, what? Like, you guys have, like, you can have your own logo. Because right. we would, so my high school was the Hornets, and okay. we couldn't use, like, our school logo. We had, like, a like a personal logo that we used. Like, right. we couldn't do that. And it was, that was just so different, like, seeing stuff like that. Taking on like a yeah. varsity sport, like a, yeah, yeah. And like, it's just so different. They're like a, they're a powerhouse over there. I hate yeah. to say it, but they're a powerhouse. Yeah, I hate how they wear scrum. Like all the more scrum. All the, it just always... pissed me off. <laughs> like, why would you do that? Like, I, okay, I get it, but like, <laughs> you look so dumb. I, you can't. I, you need some swag on the field. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, and I should well, read Parsons about that one. They have the scoreboard. That's enough swag for that. Yeah. I like, guess they win. Like we would be lucky in high school if we got to play on our football field. Yeah. Um, like. Sometimes we wouldn't even be able to do that. Because we didn't, we had we had to practice off camp, off camp. We had practice in like Swell Park. Cause we didn't get, we didn't get a real field until my senior year. We did, we just had it some crappy grass field. So we finally got a turf field, mm-hmm. and we were being kind. Of, they tipped us out of practicing there, but we had one game in there, and then COVID happened. It's, I was going to go to Ireland. We were going to have a rugby tour. We were going to go to Ireland, play all those teams, have plenty of Guinness, mm-hmm. but then. <laughs> COVID sort of just ruined that. We right. would probably been stuck there. But our but the game's grown does our club in St. James now they we you know, we host a lot of games now, from what it seems like. And then having the state championship back in Westwood, mm-hmm. it just showed like is how it's growing like, youth wise. Yeah. That's that same Aquinas had that little like they had a whole tent and concessions and everything. Yeah, and like all the parents are there. Right. Yeah. It's like it feels like that sport is big as football, mm-hmm. and like that's not the case where I come from. No. Yeah. Like there's a school called Eden Prairie. I know a mm-hmm. bunch of my friends give me shit saying Eden Prairie is better than Dinah because that's like our arch rival. But they 
they their football coach wouldn't let their kids play rugby. Oh really? And because the and it's funny because they're such a powerhouse in football, but their rugby team sucked, and we'd beat them every year. But their football coach right. wouldn't let them play. Do you have a reason for it? Well, he was like Bud Grant's son, and. Like and if, I don't. He used yeah, to coach yeah. Packers or something, and he was just like a hard nose dude. Right. Football I don't is know. that kind of thing. That's on, for real. Not so much here. No. You can play whatever you want. Yeah. I'm the same way you were though. I played, did track for two years. No. Forget that. And found it's rugby. Well, yeah. like the gentlemen's club. That was my uh, high yeah. school club that I did. So. Yeah, we. Yeah, we. That, that's well. They kind of combined now. It used to mm-hmm. be when I was playing, it was it was Blue Valley head team and Olathe had a team. They combined that with like Blue Valley and Olathe combined. Mm-hmm. And I just remember being over there when State, we were playing them. I was at Shaq Fowler's office and Trevor. We were kind of just edging each, our teams on, and then when we when they beat us, Trevor, Trevor and Sox really got into my face about it. Right. Night. <laughs> well, do you guys have any last thoughts or? Words you want to say before we sign off here? Um, books open till spring. That's all I gotta say. That's I right. don't know. August fifteenth. time now. There we go. We got a month away, and I can't wait. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Awesome. And well, I'll definitely try to, if I if I got time, I'll definitely be trying to come to practices and right. stuff. But like, I don't know. We'll see how. Cause I got. I don't know. My my focus right now is just trying to graduate. Because right. I, I fucked around way too hard freshman year, right. and it's biting me in the ass right now. So. Well, that's where it should be, of course. Yeah, but yeah, I know. But You're going to start hearing that siren song calling you back to the pitch. <sighs> I know. <laughs> right, you're just going to see us, you know, winning and having fun, and you're going to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I want to be back here again. But like, I'll be back. But, yeah, we, we'll, we'll be, yeah. Yeah, really. Knock on wood. Right now. Mm-hmm. Right on. Well, I appreciate you guys spending some time to come and chat, even though it's hot outside, middle yeah. of July, roasting in here. But uh, I do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, Thanks for having on. us. All right. We'll see you all later then. Thanks. Nice to see you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. Roger!